Hey DJ Tech Tools, Ryan Dieger here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make your own intro edit using Ableton Live. Now what exactly is an intro edit? They're tracks that are designed to make mixing easier by giving you an extended intro that you can easily mix, mix in or out of. Now the intro usually is composed of just the beat or the instrumental of the original track. And then after that intro is finished, it usually breaks down into the first verse, first verse or uh, first chorus. Uh, intro edits are commonly available through record pools. However, we're gonna show you how to make your own today. I've got an example of a popular hip hop track that has an intro edit made. I'll just play that just to show how it, how it sounds. Now, if you're familiar with this track, you already know that there would be some vocals that are coming in here. But as you can see, it's just playing the beat with no vocals here. So as you can see, that gave us uh, 32 beats or uh, eight bars of just a beat that we can easily mix in or out of. So we're gonna show you how to make that in Ableton Live. Creating your own intro edits is a great first step in production, and this will get you a little more comfortable working with Ableton Live and with editing uh, the arrangement of tracks. So what you're gonna need is a copy of uh, Ableton Live 8 or Live 9 standard. And to make it really easy to follow along with this tutorial, we're gonna include the Ableton project file with the original track, the instrumental, and the acapella included, which are the files that we're gonna be using in this tutorial. So download it and let's get into it. So once you have the Ableton project file downloaded, once you open it up, what you're gonna see here is uh, the three separate tracks. And on our first track here, we've got the original track playing. Oh, baby. And then on the second track, we've got the acapella, baby. which as you can tell is playing too fast. And then on the third track, we've got our instrumental. And then the fourth track here is where we're gonna be doing our, uh, our arrangement for our intro edit. So there's three ways that we're gonna create our intro edit here. The first way is by just taking the, uh, in, the instrumental and dropping it over the front of the original track. So that will eliminate the vocals from the original track and it'll just drop into the verse. The second way that we're gonna show is just by rearranging elements from the uh, original track. So if you don't have access to the instrumental, you can still make a re-edit. Um, and then the last and final way is the trickiest way. We're gonna make a acapella intro where it's just the, just the chorus playing and then it drops into the main verse. So to make our first uh, intro edit using the instrumental, we just need to chop the uh, first eight bars of this instrumental on this track. So we'll just play that just to make sure we've got the right part. So that's the part that we want. So we'll highlight that and then press Command E on Mac. We're just gonna drop it down onto our uh, intro edit track here. And then all we need to do for the original track is chop it at the same point where the verse begins. And then just drag and drop that onto our uh, fourth track here. And now we can just play that to see how it sounds. Give me your number, I call you up. You act like you All right, so pretty simple. The second way we can make our intro edit if we don't have the instrumental is just by taking certain elements from the original track that we can loop and place at the, uh, at the front of the track to act as our intro. So what we're really looking for in the original track is just minimal elements where there's not any vocals or any other instruments playing. Ideally, we're looking for just drums if we can find them. So let's just play through the original track and see what we can find. Oh, baby. Mm. It's dedicated to all the pretty girls. Pretty girls. Pretty girls. Pretty girls. Pretty girls. Oh. So right at the beginning of the track here, right at bar two, there's a good loop of just drums that we can use for our uh, intro edit. So what we can do is we can highlight this section and loop it and press Command E and that will cut up the track. We can drag this down to our arrangement here. However, I also want to get this element uh, from the beginning here. Oh, baby. Mm. That mm. And this, uh, so what we can do here is we can just uh, highlight this uh, last section of this bar. 
uh, loop it and press uh, Command E. Now what we're going to do is drag this down and replace the, uh, the snare on the last part here. And then we can highlight this all and press Command D and this will duplicate it. So we can duplicate this for eight bars here. And then to mix it up on the lat on the at the end of the fourth bar here, what I want to do is I'm going to reverse this uh, last part here by highlighting it and going down and clicking reverse. And I'm also going to do the same at the end of bar eight. Just click on it again, highlight, and click reverse down here. So now that we've got our eight bar intro, we can just drag our original track where the verse starts and drag it after the intro. And we'll solo our track and just see how that sounds. All right, so that sounds pretty good. The last edit that we're gonna work on is the acapella intro. And this is really tricky because Ableton isn't good at detecting the BPM of acapellas or a track without a beat. So what happens when it tries to do this, if we highlight our acapella track, is it's gonna place all these warp markers uh, and it's also gonna try and detect the BPM, but it's gonna get it completely wrong. As you can see, it's at 81, when really we know that our track is at 103. So what we need to do to actually get this acapella uh, in sync is we need to find a downbeat uh, in the in the acapella, and we also need to uh, set a warp marker and set our tempo properly. First thing we need to do is highlight our track and just press Command A, and get rid of all these warp markers. And since we're using the course, we're going to start there for trying to find our uh, trying to find the downbeat. Get moist. If you want to look good and not be bummy, go. You better give me that money. Oh, hey, dirty. Uh, 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 uh. Baby, so if we were to go back and listen to the original track. We can hear that that hey is, is pretty close to the downbeat. So if we go back to our acapella and we zoom in. So we can see that hey here. And as you can see, Ableton has detected that uh, has detected this as a transient, so this would be a good place to place a warp marker. So to do that, we just hover over it, and you'll see this arrow pointing down. We just double click. First thing we want to do is click this, and we want to set 1.1.1 here. So now when we play the track, it's going to start at the course. Before we can change our BPM, we need to make sure that there isn't any other warp markers uh, after placing this one. So if we zoom out, we can see that there's still one at the very beginning here. We can just double click to clear it. And we can go back to our warp marker. If we highlight it, now we can change the BPM to 103. And now let's hear how that sounds with the metronome. All right, so that sounds pretty good. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna chop the first bar, first four bars of the course by highlighting and pressing Command E. And we want to just use the uh, first bar, first four bars, just because the, the last four bars breaks into a different verse. Uh, so we can just loop these four bars twice. So I can drag it down. And again, with this still highlighted, press Command D. And that'll duplicate it. And then we can go to our original track. And again, drag it down where the verse starts to after our intro edit here. And we can solo and let's hear how it sounds. Baby, I got your money, don't you worry. I said, hey, baby, I got your money. Hey, dude, hey, baby, I got your money, don't you worry. I said, hey, baby, I got your money. Now, there's just one element I want to change in the a cappella here. Uh, it's this last section in the last bar. Baby, I got your money. Uh -uh. Give me your number. 
This last part here just sounds a little unnatural when it breaks into the verse. So what we can do is we can zoom in here. And if we just go to the end of the clip, we're going to get this little bracket and we can drag it back. And that'll cut off that part here. So if we just listen to the, if we just start from bar seven here. Sorry, I said, hey, baby, I got your money. Give me your number, I call you up. You act like you're in. That sounds a little better now. So after you've made the re-edit, if you decide you want to keep it and export it and use it in a DJ software like Tractor or Serato, you can export it from Ableton. So what we can do uh, is zoom out and then we can highlight our entire intro edit track here and go to File, Export Audio and Video. And instead of rendering the master track, we just want to render uh, the intro edit track. That way it'll just that way it'll just export that one track instead of all three tracks. Just click export and then you can rename it whatever you like and save it. And then once it's saved, you can load it into your DJ software and use it to mix into your sets. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial on how to create your own intro edit using Ableton Live. Even though something like this could probably be done with uh, Tractor and just clever use of looping, the point of this tutorial is to get you more comfortable and familiar using Ableton and to give you a first step into bridging that gap between DJing and production. And this is also a great way to create edits that are unique to your own collection as well. So for more tips and tricks, keep an eye on djtechtools.com. No.